Um, okay, we're very happy today having this chance to interview Dr. Liu. Um, so very good to see you, Dr. Liu. Uh -huh. uh, could you please give us a very brief introduction about your research and group? Uh, okay. Uh, our group is from Suzhou, uh, an institute of the Chinese academic science. Uh, our group, uh, our group, try to explore some new novel method for the characterization of the uh, nanomaterials. Uh, we know that the uh, traditional methods always have the resolution of the uh, micrometer. However, the nanostructures. How, what's the impact on the optical properties is a, a very important method, uh, problem. But the characterization method is, uh, is, is uh, we usually lack the method to know how the, the relation between the structure and their optical properties. So our group is try to develop the methods. Uh, so uh, in the recent 10 years, we have developed uh, about uh, uh, two systems to uh, solve this problem. And uh, next I will introduce uh, uh, in detail. Okay. Okay, very good. Thank you for your introduction. Um, as we know, um, Dr. Liu is very experienced in developing the characterization uh, instruments for materials that are very small, like in micro scale or nano scale. Um, so recently, uh, you have introduced this novel technique called scanning spreading microscopy. Um, could you introduce um, to us like how this system works and what information we can get from it? Ah, okay, thank you. The, this system is a combination of the optical excitation and the optical spectrum and the scanning probe microscope. Uh, this is a, a very complicated combination of uh, several characterization methods. We try to use the light to excite the uh, carriers in the materials. Then we know that the carrier in materials will, will have a recombination. They will emit the light. So we can detect the spectrum, optical spectrum. However, this is not all because we some carriers will have recombination on the surface and at some nano structures, uh, especially at the defects. Then this, when the carriers at these defects will introduce some, uh, some photovoltage, I mean the voltage at this nano scale will change. But how to detect it? We use a very small probe at nano scale. I mean the uh, uh, scanning probe to detect the voltage change at the surface. Then we can know how the optical carriers diffuse and uh, the recombination method process at the surface. Then we can know the, what the relation between these nanostructures and their optical properties at the nanoscale. This is uh, our, the uh, principle of our equipment. So it's, it sounds like it mostly uh, focuses on the, on, the tr on the defects or traps. Yeah, yeah. but the, we use the probe, then the resolution can reach the nanoscale. You know the tra traditional optical methods have only a micrometer resolution. Uh, so the, but the nanostructures, if, especially some point defects, it's hard to, uh, to reveal the, their relation between the the structure and the, the optical properties. But in our method, we can uh, just uh, uh, look at it and uh, see it. So we can know how the relations. This is uh, the uh, advantage of our, me of our method. Yeah. We call, yes, we, so we call it, uh, call it a scanning spread microscopy because it he can uh, tell us how the carriers diffuse at the surface and the structures and the uh, nano, nano defects. Okay. I see. So it sounds like it's a little bit similar to the AFM. Yeah, it's based on the AFM. It's based on the, the AFM, AFM right? uh, but the co combined with the uh, optical system. We, we use the optical system to 
uh, for the introducing lights and detect the spectrum. Yes. Excellent. Excellent. So um, uh, Dr. Liu has already cooperated with Zolix for many, many years. Um, so um, from both the developer of the software and um, as a user of the Zolix instruments, do you have any suggestions, comments, or questions? Anything could be um, for our company? Okay. Uh, I think the uh, our uh, I think the Zolix have a uh, in a right way. I mean, uh, uh, they in the recent ten years, I saw a very very uh, good advantage. Uh, uh, advance in our equipment. From my, my opinion, mm -hmm. I think the uh, Zolix company, Zolix company is uh, on the right way. Because you know, under the uh, sanction of uh, United States, uh, a lot of equipment, we cannot uh, get the most uh, advanced equipment from the outside. Yeah. So we try to develop uh, the equipment ourselves. So. This is uh, this should this will this is uh, very important because uh, the scientists need the most advanced equipment. However, you can't get it. Right. Uh, how to get how to solve this equi uh, problem? I think the way is uh, uh, deep cooperation uh, between the scientists and the company. The scientists will try to. Uh, Try to try every method. Try to try several methods, and some methods will success be successful, and some methods will fail. However, the company will face the market. He can discover what the scientist does, yes. and try to convert some techniques to uh, commercial equipment. I think this is the way of the cooperation between the scientists. We let the scientists. Uh, try everything, uh, but the company does the uh, com commercial conversion. Uh, I think this, is, this will have a good uh, cycle, cycling between our, our this is, I, I, think, I, I call it a cycling yes. between the scientists and the company. Yes. I think this is a very good way. So this is what I want uh, to try to uh, cooperate with the Zolix company. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much for your comments. Um, very insightful. Uh, and we, we really feel very uh, honored and pleased to have this chance um, cooperating with Dr. Liu in the past few years, okay. uh, in the past years. Yeah. Okay, um, so that would be pre pretty much it. Thank you very much, Dr. Liu, for taking this interview. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much.